here's an example of three PLL cases on the three by three. You are at the final stage. This is doing the CFOP method. You've got everything done, all of the yellows oriented facing up, and you are off by some edge, top edges. So this case has four that are off. I'll show you that in a moment. This case has only three that are off, and this one I tend to get more frequently than the other two. So we'll do it first. And this case also has four that are off, but they're off in a different way than this one. So I'll just put these to the side for a moment, and we'll do this one. The way I learned to do this is not the most efficient way, but it was easy to remember and it works for me. So I position the cube with the solved side at the back. I look at this sticker in the front in the middle to see what color it is. And in this case, it could either be the orange or it could be the red. This one is red. So I know red is going to go over here. So that's going to help me know which way to move the first white slice when I rotate this. So what the moves are that I do is I rotate this face 180 degrees. And here's where that comes in handy to remember which way to go. This white shows me I need to rotate it over to where the side was it was going to go. Then I bring both the right side to me and the left side to me. I flip around the face again, 180 degrees. And then I undo that by a right away from me and a left away from me. I spin the white back around because it's going to have to go down here. And I rotate the face. And that has solved that case. This case is the H perm, I believe. Uh, it's where on each side we have the opposite edges that belong on that side. So this is the green side and we have the opposite color, which is blue. On the blue side we have green. And similarly on the orange we have red and on the red we have orange. I use my middle ring finger on my right hand to do M moves and I use my index finger on the left hand to do U primes. And these are the moves I make. M2, U prime, M2, U2, M2, U prime, M2. And just like that, it is solved. Before I learned that algorithm, I used to do it the way I did the first one I showed you, but you'd have to do it twice because first of all, it would just arrange three and then there would be another one and it would do three more. So this is much more fun and much nicer. Now this perm is called the Z perm and it's similar because all four are off, but instead of them being opposite, like red is not the opposite color of green and across from it, blue is not the opposite color of orange. So in this case, you see this red belongs on this side and this green belongs over here. And similarly, the blue and orange are just mixed up. So you position this so that these two, the front face and the left face, are the ones that are mixed up. So I could position this this way with red and green, not like this, or I could do like this, orange and blue. So once it's positioned like that and you turn one of the faces towards you, Again, I use this ring finger as my right hand for the M moves, and I use my index finger here for U's. And this is M2, U prime, M2, U prime, M, U2, M2, U2, M, U2. And there it is.